Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, guys. Good evening. Thank you very much. Alejandro Marbona, your service, and welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. How are you today, guys? You good? Hi. Yeah, you sound tired. I'm fine, thanks. Are you tired? Yes. Yes. I, yes, we all are. But let me tell you guys, it's, it's worth it. Vale la pena todo su esfuerzo, todas estas veladas. Yes. All right, so thank you very much. All right, guys. So as far as yesterday knowledge check, do you have any question about the answers with there is and there are and the prepositions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con there is, there are y las preposiciones? No. No? All clear? Are you sure? Sure. All right. Very good. So in that case, let me see. Um, I can see William, Janira, Candy, Carlos, Sergio, Beatriz, Jorge, and Ronnie. All right. Fantastic. So today, guys, we're going to be covering the topic, how much and how many. Hoy vamos a estar cubriendo los temas, how much and how many. ¿Alguien ya sabe cómo ocuparlos? ¿Tienen alguna idea? Para comprar. ¿Para? How, ma how many when you, you can count the things and how much is uncountable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Good job, sir. So we're going to use how much for uncountable. Say it with me, uncountable. 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 And we're going to use how many for countable. How many for countable. How many for countable. Correct. All right. So I'm going to be sharing a link right now of the image that we will be using today. And this way we will be able to share everything. Okay. Just one moment, please. <clears throat> there we go. <sighs> All right, so I want to hand and send it to you guys. I'm going to be sharing everything with you right now, okay? So please read with me. Less objective. Less objective. Thank you, Bear. In this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood. Right? In this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood. About a neighborhood. About a neighborhood. Neighborhood. Taking in. So repeat after me. Neighborhood. 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 What is the meaning of neighborhood? Vecino. Vecino. Barrio. Vecindario. That's right. Neighbor. Vecino. Neighbor, just neighbor, is vecino. Neighborhood completo is vecindario. Vecindario. Barrio. Exactly. The hood. <laughs> That's what you're gonna hear in some movies that they call it the hood. The hood. Mm -hmm. Así le dicen mm -hmm. the hood. Pero es totalmente informal. Okay. okay. So let's continue. Take it into account questions like how many, how much with quantifiers. Take it in account. Take it into account. How many, how much, how much, how much, how many, how much, which quantifier. All right, very good. So, guys, I need a volunteer in order for you to do all of this. Please. Don't worry, I just need one. What do you need to read? Yes, please. To read your Me. Go ahead, Ronnie. Okay. In this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood, taking into account questions like how many, 
how much with quantifiers. With quantifiers, correct. Good job. All right, so let's Thank go you. Ahead. Conversation, it's pretty safe. Repeat after me, please. It's safe. Conversation, Conversation is pretty safe. safe. It's mm -hmm. pretty safe. Okay, pretty so safe. you know how it goes. You know the drill. Cuando les digo you know the drill, significa que ustedes ya saben qué hacer. Okay, un drill puede ser muchas cosas. Drill, I'm gonna text it to you. Give me just a second. I'm gonna get it. Just give me a second. I'm gonna text it to you here. A drill. This can be different things. Can be um, un taladro, as a noun. Mm -hmm. Is the verb also, es el verbo taladrar. All right. O, o también es un simulacro. Okay. So, cuando yo les digo, you know the drill, es que ustedes ya saben qué hacer, porque ya lo hemos hecho antes. All right. Let me share this with you then. So, we can practice. Everybody mute your microphone, please. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Alrighty, guys. So, this is the audio that we're going to be working with today. Okay? So, let me get it here. How they answer them. Remember. Got it. So, please repeat after me. How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? Again, how do you like How do you like your new apartment? Your new apartment. Your new apartment. Your new apartment. I love it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. We're going to link this thing right here. Lo vamos a unir. I love it. I love, I love it. it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. It's downtown. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. It's downtown. It's, it's downtown. 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 Mm -hmm. Acá vamos a explotar la T. We're going to explode the T. It's downtown. It's, it's, it's downtown. downtown. It's downtown. So, so downtown. it's very here. Oh, very, it's very, 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 it's very, 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 it's very, it's very convenient. Very convenient. 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 All right. Convenient. Make sure, guys, cuando decimos esta B, bueno, sería la B de la, de la vida dental. Very, 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 very. Mm -hmm. very, very convenient. Very, very, very convenient. Very convenient. Very convenient. Very convenient. Centro. Very convenient. Centro de la ciudad. Exactly. Centro de la ciudad. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what is the meaning of convenient? Convenient. Convenient. It's very convenient. When we say convenient, we mean that it's um, very close, perhaps. Very accessible. Que esté cerca, que sea accesible. Que no sea muy caro, por ejemplo. So, que tenga mucho. Right? Let's continue. Yeah. Downtown. 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 Is there much noise? 
Is there is much there market, market noise? noise? Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, who can tell me what is the meaning of is there much noise? So as someone was mentioning, much we're gonna use it with uncountable nouns. Okay. Uncountable, mm -hmm. uncountable nouns son los que no podemos contar. Could you please give me some examples? I'm gonna give you one. Traffic. Sugar. Traffic. Sugar. Pollution. Sugar. Meal. Light. Oil. Sand. Water. Oil. Water. Water. Sand. Milk. Milk. And what about if we can find it in the city? What? Cosas que podríamos encontrar en la ciudad que sean no contables. Hey. Uh, Smoke, noise, pollution, pollution, pollution. What else? Um, How do you say air? I'm much air. Who do light. you say? Light. Mm -hmm. Light. La luz. Is there much light? Very good. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más vamos um, a encontrar? Temperature. Temperature, exactly. Very good. All right, so how do you say, hay mucha contaminación? There much pollution. There are much, there much pollution. pollution. There you go. Is there much pollution? And I'm smoke? Hmm? Smoke? When you use smoke? There is much traffic. Um, Yesenia, I think, is asking that Yes, question. yes, yes. All right, thank you, Jesenia, for your participation. Smoke, en cuanto a ciudad, no vamos a decir smoke, vamos a decir car fumes. Car, car fumes. Car fumes. Car fumes. Car what? Fumes. I'm going to write it down. Car fumes. Car fumes. Car fumes. It's a new word for me. Fantastic. Vocabulary. <laughs> Car fumes. Car fumes. Mm -hmm. Car fumes. Mm -hmm. In Spanish? Yeah. Es como el humo de los vehículos. Me imagino que a eso se refiere, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sería más que todo, por ejemplo, uh, digamos, si alguien está fumando, si están quemando algo. Ahí sí sería smoke. Está siendo producido por algo que se está quemando. Pero lo contrario sería car fumes. Okay. Como el humo de los you. carros. Exacto. La contaminación de los carros. Exacto. Y aquí en nuestro país eso no existe, todos son sumamente limpios, no contaminan. <laughs> carros. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. Oh no, there isn't any. Oh no. Oh no. There isn't, there isn't any. any. I live on the fifth floor. I live, I live, I live in the, on the fifth floor. floor. I live on the fifth floor. Very good. How do you say no hay? There is no. There isn't. Any. There is. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. Any. There isn't. Any. There isn't. How do you say no. quinto piso? Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Exactly. Fifth floor. Let me go ahead and share the screen with you one more time. So vocabulary is very important and for you to understand how to use the things is very important also. So let's continue. How many restaurants are there near your place? How, how many, many restaurants, restaurants are there near your place? How many restaurants are there near your place? Restaurants. Restaurants. Mm -hmm. How many restaurants are there near your place? So, ¿cómo preguntamos cuántos restaurantes hay cerca de tu, de tu lugar o de tu casa? How many restaurants Correct. Correct. So, here you see the difference. We use much with uncountable and many with countable nouns. Right? Now, say it again. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. In fact, there's a big Korean place just around the corner. 
Everyone, everyone. A lot. A lot. A lot. In fact, in fact, in fact, there's an excellent Korean place. There's an excellent, excellent Korean place just around the corner. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. Around the corner. All right. Around the corner. What about parking? What about parking? What about parking? What about parking? parking. What about parking? What about parking? What a, we're going to link it. What about? What about? What about? What about? What about? Parking. 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 When we say what about is, ¿y qué tal el parqueo? All right, pero no hay qué tal de cómo está el parqueo. Qué? ¿Qué tal el parqueo? Según el anterior que nos All right. Now, Let's go ahead and change it. It's very complicated. It's very noise. Are very noise. Very noise. No worries. Baby. All right, let's continue. Let's do our best. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give all the answer. All right, very good. So in this class, guys, we will see the quantifiers and we will see how to answer them. All right? So, everyone, your mic is on. Your mic is on. And I'm going to, everyone mute the microphones because I'm going to share this with you. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count... All right, so let's go ahead and work Is there much crime? Things. So how do you say... Sí, hay un montón. Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. exactly. There's a lot. There's a, a lot. lot. How do you say un montón? There's a lot. Yes, there's, there's a, a lot. lot. Can we use a lot with countable and uncountable? Uncountable. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yes. So, podemos ocuparlo con ambos. A lot. Guys, please mute your microphone. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. That's good. Good advice. All right. So we're going to say, vamos a decir un montón con a lot. Y a lot, it can be used with both, with countable nouns and also with uncountable, right? Now, 
Then we can also use a few. A few is unos pocos. Unos pocos. Mm -hmm. O un poquito. And this one is only for countable noun. Okay, I'm gonna do much talking because of the background uh, sound, so uh, you just pay attention, okay? So, yes, si se fijan, yes, there are a lot. Si hay un montón, va con positivo. Si hay un montón, va con ambos. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Then we have, yes, there are a few. Si hay algunos, una cantidad pequeña. A few will be with countable nouns, and yes, there's a little, it will be with uncountable nouns. So for example, if I say, is there much traffic? We're gonna say, yes, there's a little. Si hay un poquito. Why? Because traffic is uncountable. ¿Me vas siguiendo? Okay. Are you following me? Yeah. Yes. All right, fantastic. So, when we use no, there aren't many, it's como no hay muchos or no hay mucho. If you notice here, many, siempre va con su homólogo, many. And much, también va con su homólogo, much. So, if you ask me, is there much crime? I cannot say, yo no puedo contestar, no, there aren't many. Okay, porque son como agua y aceite. Many con many, much con much. Okay, so let's continue. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't are any. No, there are any. Es una manera de decir no hay. Teacher, pero ¿por qué vemos tanta letra? No tiene traducción literal. Pues así es, no todo tiene una traducción literal de inglés, español y viceversa. So, are there many restaurants? No, there aren't any. Significa que no hay ninguno. Ni uh -huh. Y de la misma manera podemos decir, no, there are none. No, there, there, are, none. there, are, none. there are none. Que es exactamente lo mismo. And if we say, is there much crime? Como is there, there much crime? In país, like in our country. Crime? No, no, there isn't there any. Isn't no, any. There's any. Or, no, there's none. No. No, there's no. no, there's no. Mm -hmm. No, there's no hay nada. So, we can also say, are there many restaurants? Estamos preguntando si hay, si existen. Y contestamos con yes or no. Yes. Y yes. lo que dependa. Is there much crime? Hay mucho crimen. Yes or no, y lo que dependa. Remember, guys, that when we have the verb to be, these are yes, no questions. Cuando tenemos el, preguntas que empiezan con el verbo to be, o con do, por ejemplo, did, van a ser preguntas de sí o no. Pero cuando tenemos how, o cualquier WH word, is going to be an informational question. Es una pregunta que requiere información. ¿Cuántos, imagínense si le si les, si les ponemos, cuántos restaurantes hay aquí? Y ustedes contestan sí. <laughs> It's not complete, right? So, questions with how many, how much, and any WH word, we need long answer. So, how many restaurants are there? There are yeah. 10 mm -hmm. or 12. There are 10 okay, or 12. Mm -hmm. 10 or 12. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. And how much crime is there? Como crimen no es contabilizado, es un accountable noun. No podemos decir. There is a lot of. ¿Cuánto crimen hay? Diez. No se puede. Bien. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So, ¿cuánto crimen hay? Contestaríamos aquí en El Salvador. There's a lot of street crime. There's a lot of street crime. Uh -huh. Or, there is no crime. There isn't any. There is any. All right, very good. So, guys, antes de pasar a los, a los ejercicios, do you have any question about this? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? ¿Cuándo se ocupa? No. No, ok. ¿Cuándo ocupamos a lot? ¿Con countable o uncountable? The both. both of them. Both, correct. ¿A few? Both. Uh, few. Um, the count no. No. Um, no. The count nouns. Count nouns, correct. ¿A little? A little. Uh, no, 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 no. Exactly. 
Many? Um, oh, no. 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 Countable nouns. No. Much? No, no, no. On account. Any? Count. The both. 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 And none? Both. 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 Correct. All right, guys. Teacher, qué montón de información. No sé cómo me la voy a memorizar. Let me go ahead and help you with that. Vamos a practicar. We're going to have fun. Okay? So, remember, practice makes perfect. Si quieren aprender inglés sin esforzarse, sin estudiar, sin dedicarle tiempo, imposible. Okay? So, this is what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to break the rooms. I'm going to assign rooms, and I want you to ask questions. Okay? For example, um, you can ask questions like, ¿Cuántos restaurantes hay? Obviamente en inglés. ¿Cuántos restaurantes hay en tu vecindario? ¿Cómo se dice el vecindario? Neighborhood. 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 ¿Cuántos restaurantes? ¿Cómo se dice hospitales? Hospital. Hospital. Farmacia. Drugstores. Drug stores, right there. Uh, campo de fútbol. Soccer field. Soccer field. Correct. Cancha de básquetbol. Basketball field. Basketball court. Es muy cerca. Estaba cerca. Super cerca. So, basketball court. Okay, cuando decimos court es la pequeña, generalmente es cemento oh. u otro material. Y el otro sería basketball oh. soccer. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, antes que vayamos al knowledge check, let me go ahead and break the room y hagan sus preguntas, ¿ok? All right, very good. Let me go ahead and break the room. There you go. Please accept the invitation. All right, so I'm just missing Candy, Gio, and Janira. All right, there we go. Okay. Fine, thanks. What about you? Uh, I have a question. Uh, Ronnie, how many pupus do you eat? <laughs> Good question. Uh, I eat a lot of <laughs> a lot of pupusas. A lot of pupusas lot of, today. And you, Roxana? And you, Roxana? Uh, I lot of pupusas today. <laughs> and you, yours? Okay, uh, I can eat a lot of pupusas too. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Okay, very good. I can see that you are very hungry. Teacher, teacher. And you, teacher. <laughs> I ate, no, I, I didn't eat pupusas today. I ate two hamburgers. <laughs> oh. teacher, for Why? example, there, there are a lot of noise in the main room. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. There will be, there is. Uh, there, there is. There is a lot of noise. A lot of noise. Yes, it's, it's a correct. Um, that's a good, that's a good example, <laughs> by the way. Um, acordémonos, guys, que vamos a ocupar is más que todo is. son uncountable nouns. Uncountable. Uh -huh. All right. So siempre is siempre is que no que no son contables. En el, en la primera estructura traten de ocupar esa imagen que teníamos como referencia para que solo vayan copiando. Ustedes pueden decir is there. Is there? Is there? I. Are there any restaurants? Y ponemos en plural el noun. Are there any restaurants or is there any restaurant in your neighborhood? Con countable nouns podemos ocupar cualquiera. 
ya sea is or are. Oh, are. Pero con uncountable, mayoritariamente vamos a ocupar is. It is. Uh -huh. Porque no los podemos contar. Si no los podemos contar, no hay plural. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. okay. Alright, go ahead. I'm going to pay attention to you for a couple of okay. minutes. Then I'm going to visit another room. Okay. Hey, Ronnie, where do you live, Ronnie? What? Where do you live? I live in Nahuachapan. Okay. Is there a much a cloud your house? Cloud. What, where, uh -huh. Again? Cloud. Cloud. What? Oh, the no. weather. Sorry, the weather. Got it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The, the cloud. Uh, okay. Uh, there, there. Yes. There are a lot of clouds in this world. There you go. Okay. And what about you? Roxana? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. The same question of Jorge. Um, yes, there are uh, are feet. A few. A yes. Few. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A few. A few. All right, very good. Um, just make sure that you use questions with is there and how much and how many. Okay? I'll be back. Give me a few minutes, and if you have any any questions, let me know when I come back, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, Gio, is there a many hospital in neighborhood? Uh, is there any? Are there? Or are there, are there any? Or are yes. there many? Perdón. Are there many? Ah, are there many? Mm -hmm. Are there se many hospitals in the neighborhood? Very good. Neighborhood. Restaurants in your in your jobs? Jobs? Uh there are there are yes, there are a lot there of are four there are four a lot. or six. Restaurant. Yeah, there are a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, there, there are, are a lot. lot in the Paseo del Carmen. <laughs> 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 a lot of restaurants. <laughs> yes, there are a lot. My I uh, <laughs> how many how many beds are is in your house? Uh, bed. Yes, there um, are a lot of beds. Bed. Bed. There, are, there are, are a lot of beds. or pets? Two beds. Bed. 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 Come on. Bed. Ah, okay. uh -huh. All right. There, bed. Are, <laughs> there are two How beds many, bed? in my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there are, there are uh -huh. four, uh -huh. four beds in my house. Okay, fantastic. You're doing a good job, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to visit another room. Good job. Okay. Continue, continue. Bye. <laughs> There's a lot. Uh huh. Oh, yes, there's a little. Oh, no, um, there isn't much. <laughs> Uh, if 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 there is a lot of free crime, uh -huh. yes, yes, uh -huh. it's okay. Okay. Está bien. <laughs> Estaba viendo um, otro porque dio más información, pero siempre, ajá, tiene, hay que usar cuando sea la la pregunta, ajá, con there are, entonces usted okay. tiene que contestar así. Con the, ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, uh, Mira, ¿verdad? Sí, Mira. Uh, how many schools are in your neighborhood? How many in my... schools? schools? How many schools? School. Are... Con ese school? final. School. 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 Okay. How many schools are in your neighborhood? In my neighborhood, there are a few schools. 
a few schools. students. Okay. Una molo nada más. A few schools. A few schools. Excellent. Good job. Good question. All right, continue. Continue. I'm not here. Can you see it? Continue, guys. Continue, Yanira. You ask me. Let me see. Hello, Ruth. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Um, Hi. I sent you an invitation for you to join the group. Okay. Um, sí, aquí me aparecen unos como cuatro cuadritos uh -huh. para Exacto. que me una al grupo. Exacto. Uh -huh. Go ahead and click. Ahorita. Y ya se va a poder. Ok. Ok, you. gracias. Bueno. Ok. Are there many supermarkets near the, the house? Uh, yes, there is one <laughs> supermarket here uh, in my house. And Gio, are there many churches in your neighborhood? Churches. Are there churches. many churches? Yes. Churches. There are. There are there are uh, one, two, three. There are three. 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 Yeah. Yes, there are a few. Yeah. A teacher, few. teacher, how do you say tienda de, de una colonia, de una tiendita, de una casa? That would be grocery store. Grocery store. Grocery store. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write it down in the chat. Grocery. Grocery. Grocery store. And it can be uh, grocery stores. Grocery stores. Grocery store. mm -hmm. Example, how many grocery stores in your neighborhood? Are there? Are, are there? Mm -hmm. Are there in your neighborhood? Are there in your neighborhood? In this case, the question is, are there many? Oh. Are there, uh, many are there many grocery, grocery stores in the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. And then we can go with yes, there are some, there are a lot, there are a few, mm -hmm. there are a few. It, or the are question many. that you have so far? Are there, for example, are there many police station in your neighborhood? Very good. So uh, that's a very good question, but let's go ahead and add the plural. Are there many police stations? Police stations. Mm -hmm. Are there many police? Police many station or police station? Police, police stations. stations. Uh, police, police stations. stations. Mm -hmm. Generalmente, guys, se los explico en español para que, para que quede bastante claro. Cuando nosotros tenemos nouns compuestos, como por ejemplo, grocery store, que son dos palabras para decir tienda, entonces el plural lo va a llevar el último. Stores. Police station. Stations. Mm -hmm. So police stations. 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 Otro okay. sería gas station una, gas stations dos. dos. So, generalmente, bueno, prácticamente siempre cuando son nouns compuestos, la S se lleva al final. Al final. Uh -huh. Sin Correct. importar que termine en consonante la segunda palabra. No, no, sin importar nada. Por ejemplo, tenemos basketball court. El ejemplo que les mandé anteriormente sería basketball courts. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Porque no podemos decir basketball courts. All right. Basketball A no ser courts. que lleve el apóstrofe de propiedad. Exacto. De mm -hmm. families sí. o de Mendozas. Exactamente. Mm -hmm. ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Exacto. All right. Very good. If no questions, I'm going to be breaking the room. No, the noise, no. No. <laughs> um, my apologies about the noise. Por eso es que te dije todo el mundo lo que eran los micrófonos. Es difícil, así que les agradezco bastante. Pero, pero teacher, usted que anda en, en rooms ahí, sabe mm -hmm. más o menos quién es. Sí, es sí, Xiomara. Sí. <laughs> Let's continue. Sí, sí, no hay alguna forma de 
¿Cómo silenciarla así discretamente? <risa> ¿Cómo no? Lo que pasa es que como, estábamos, como todos estábamos participando en ese momento, no pude identificar. Uh -huh. Si ustedes se fijan, el cuadrito se pone amarillo. Sí. Entonces, no pude identificar de dónde venía para yo ponerle mute. Eso es lo que estaba tratando de hacer. No, pero en los, lo, así en, en, los, en los pequeños, cuando se hacen así como ahorita, uh -huh. en las alas, usted puede ver más o menos lo que la sí, huella es. Sí, en esos pequeños sí. <risa> correcto. Pero ya en el Ay, otro, como todos estamos <risa> participando, y luego sí, parece que, que también... más lo... la comprensión, así sí, como mucha, con I interferencia. Know. I know. I'm, I'm doing my best. Créanme que en eso hago lo posible, <risa> pero tampoco quiero... Yes. It's not your fault, teacher. It's <risa> not your fault. All right. Thank you for understanding, guys. <risa> yeah. Okay. In a few minutes. Okay. okay. All right, so with the ones I got right now, um, do you guys have any questions on how to use this? Teníamos una una pregunta. Derar o derie se puede ocupar si nos referimos a personas. Let me see. Let me think of an example. There are two people. Yes. There are two persons. Yes. Sí se puede. Y se puede usar con much y y la otra que era many uh -huh, many um, sí, bueno. generalmente se pueden ocupar there are or there is con contables with countable nouns oh, okay. ustedes lo pueden contar pueden hacer tomar la decisión de preguntar ya sea en singular o en plural pero ahí cambia un poquito cuando nosotros ocupamos many siempre vamos a ocupar are entonces, si se fijan en el ejemplo, dice, are there many restaurants? Y el restaurant está en plural, con la S. ¿Ok? Si no, se puede preguntar, pero cambia un poquito la estructura. Se tiene que preguntar con any. Is there any restaurant? ¿Ok? So, I'm going to write it down in the chat. So, if you want to use singular, is there any restaurant? Estamos preguntando por uno. Are there many restaurants? Y si se fijan, va con, si va con is, va en singular, el restaurant. Y si va con are, va en plural, pero cambia. Restaurants. Ajá, de any a many. Remember that many is uh, with plural. Mm -hmm. Plural. Mm -hmm. Plural, correct. En lo que sí se ocupa nada más is... Is there much pollution, for example? Hay mucha contaminación. contaminación. Mm -hmm. there much Ahí generalmente no ocupamos are there much pollution, sería incorrect. That would be incorrect. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, do you guys have any top, any questions with this? When to use, is there any restaurant or are there any restaurants? Do you understand the difference? Are there many restaurants? Is there much? Mm -hmm. Entienden la diferencia de esos dos? Is is con no. No pregunta. Are are um are is uh, with a uh, count now. Is plural. Mm -hmm. Plural. Singular. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> I apologize. I was getting confused. Yes, it is plural. It is plural and count and uh, noun. And no count noun is singu uh, singular with is. Exactly. You got it. So let me give you a round of examples. Okay. Is there any basketball court? Is there any soccer field in your neighborhood? Is there any grocery store? When I use is, I'm using singular. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but I'm asking with any and not with many. Estoy preguntando con any. Si yo ocupo is, 
Si se fijan, lleva el any. No importa de qué esté preguntando, siempre va en singular y ocupo any. Again, nuevamente. Is there any basketball court? Una, pregunto con hay, any. Hay algún de any sabes? soccer field? Una, pregunto con any. Okay. Jorge, do you have any question? No, I don't. No? All right, good, good. English is, I cannot say easy because it has its difficulty. But it's simple if you understand the patterns. Si ustedes entienden los patrones, los puedo escribir acá. Sería nada más ir cambiando cositas. All right? Same example. Are there many restaurants? Si se fijan, ocupo are, ocupo many, y ocupo el noun en plural. Are there many basketball courts? Courts. Are there many soccer fields? Mm -hmm. Are there many grocery stores? Mm -hmm. Si ustedes se fijan, el bloque de I understand. no se mueve. Y es ahí donde yo les digo que tenemos que ir en, en, entendiendo los patrones. And the nouns eh, no is in plural. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Cuando Restaurants. Are, exacto. It is in mm -hmm. plural. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Another tip that in a group they were asking me is that a teacher why soccer field soccer fields when it's in plural and not soccer field okay por qué se le pone la s al final okay porque estos son nouns compuestos all right nouns compuestos significa que cancha de fútbol aunque es un nombre está hecho por dos palabras entonces la s la vamos a poner al final si se fijan sería mm -hmm. soccer fields, basketball fields. courts, police stations, gas station. La lleva al final. And uh, if you notice, is there much pollution? Como estamos hablando acá de un noun que no es contable, porque la polución, la contaminación, no podemos decir... Dos contaminaciones, tres contaminaciones. Se pueden, ¿cómo les podría decir? Um, permítanme. All right. Se pueden poner, por ejemplo, las libras. All right. El peso no es contable, pero las libras sí. El dinero. Nosotros no decimos tengo dos dineros, decimos tengo dólares. Los dólares. So, eh, por ejemplo, la arena no es contable, pero sí se puede medir en libras, en kilos, etc. ¿Ok? Uh, ¿Está la diferencia de los non-countable nouns, Clara? No es countable. Marvelous. Marvelous. All right. Por ejemplo, el agua. Con... Countable or non-countable? Non-carnival. non ¿Y qué pasa cuando decimos deme un vaso de agua? A glass of cup. It's carnival. It's carnival. Exactly. Yeah, because we con we con the, the glass, mm -hmm. not so the water. We are making an uncountable noun. We are changing it to countable by adding a unit of measure. Estamos haciendo un noun no contable. Lo estamos haciendo contable agregando una unidad de medida. Si nosotros decimos carne, ¿es contable la palabra carne? No. Carne, no. 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 A no ser que vaya a comestible. A esos ratoncitos que están en la calle, denme una de dos carnes. Ah. <risa> Pero estamos hablando carne. de prácticamente de las patis, por ejemplo. All right. ¿Está clara ahora la diferencia entre countable and uncountable? Uh -huh. Yes. All right, fantastic. So, is there much meat? Is there much pollution? Etc., etc., etc. Seguimos el mismo, el mismo patrón. Mm -hmm. The same pattern. And then we just change the uncountable. All right, guys. So, before we finish, are you sure that you don't have any questions? Estamos seguros que no hay ninguna otra pregunta? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. No. Vamos a ver si se importa. Mm -hmm. guys. For the moment. For the moment. <laughs> so, 
Let me go I've ahead and break him. the rooms and break the rooms one more time. And we will double check the knowledge check. So if you have any further question, let me know. I'm going to open the groups only for five minutes. Okay. And then we're going to come back to see if there's any question. Give me just a moment, please. Please accept the invite. Okay. Hello? Can you hear me, Jenny? Hello? For example, Ronnie number one, Jorge number two, and yes, it's successively one. Okay. How we doing, guys? Good. Yeah. Uh, actually, I doing the knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Como que no leche. Knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Very good. Knowledge check. Okay. Much. If you're going, to, how long were your parents in Europe? Europe. 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 That will be knowledge check 3.9, just in case. And knowledge 3. check 3.9. Oh, so the how much and how many? Me fui para otro lugar, entonces. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's go back to the original page. All right, that will be 3.9. Okay. I'm going to leave you. And I'm going to go check another room. Uh, number four, there is a little parking. There, there is a little. Mm -hmm. There is a little parking. And number five. Una pregunta, yes. Margarita. Hay que irlos poniendo como con minúscula, vea. Yes, that is correct. It's because it's in the middle of the sentence, not at the beginning or yes. at the end. Yes. There are. There in number, are in number five, there are a few traffic, traffic lights here. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions so far? By using mm. isn't any or are or, keep no no question. All right, thank you. Uh, number take... one, there number are there any, any are any taxis in this part of town? Forty-six. Y son edificios. Build, es edificios. Build, um, mm -hmm. Building, es apartment building. Money. Is many. Many. Is many. Uh -huh. Ok. Is eh, la part 2. En esto vamos a usar, for this you? exercise, choose between a few and a, a little. little. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A few This, and little. A mm -hmm. few and little, ajá. Uh -huh. A few and a little. In a little. Okay. Moises and the first number one is there is uh, there is a few uh, a, a little uh -huh. a little a little pollution mm -hmm. a little okay a little, a little. correct. 
Remember that a uncountable count and a few is for countable. Countable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, number two, Yesenia. It's a few. There are a few. There are a few. A few. There are a school in this neighbor. This neighbor. Schools. Few. A few, yes. A few, uh -huh. A few. Correct. Okay. Uh, park. Number four. Park. There yeah. are. A little, there is. Little, there, is. Actually, there is. Uh -huh, perdón. Uh -huh. There is a little. There is parking. parking. Mm -hmm. Little. There. And there are traffic lights is a few. There are there a are few traffic a few. lights uh -huh. in the city. All right, okay. all right. All right, we're gonna go back to the main thing, guys. Continue. Just to have like a minute, 30 seconds. Okay. Si pudo entrar, Yanira. All right, hello guys. Hello. hello. All right, so I guess that you're doing a good job. Creo que estuvieron haciendo un muy buen trabajo because I was visiting the, the rooms and you were doing a fantastic job. I think that this topic is very, very clear, right? Okay, yes. thank you. Mm -hmm. Creo que este tema está muy, muy claro, ¿verdad? Yes, yeah. All right. As I always ask you, make sure that you practice. Look for examples, okay? Look for examples online. Just type in on Google how much and many exercises, and there you can do the exercises. La práctica es el maestro, guys. Si ustedes te pueden dedicar una media hora más antes de dormirse o media hora antes de conectarse, a hacer ejercicios en línea, su comprensión va a mejorar mucho. Pero mucho, mucho, mucho. La práctica hace al maestro. Comprehension. So, comprehension, exactly. Busquen en los patrones, vean muchos ejercicios para encontrar lo que se va repitiendo y luego nada más es estar quitando piezas del rompecabezas. Right? Okay. So, guys, thank you. Thank you very much for Hi. logging in to another class. Thank, thank you for being in the paradise of English. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I want to say good night on behalf of Inglés Corporativo, right? Okay. Remember, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.